Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. Let me start this video off by saying that we all love this game. But today, we're going to talk about the things that we don't love about the game. I'm going to talk about the 20 things that we all hate in Age of Empires 2. Let's start off with the moderate inconveniences. Now it might just be me, but I've never been a big fan of the Huskarl Pierce Armor. Six Pierce Armor in the Castle Age before upgrades is a little bit overpowered. Now I'll admit that's not much to complain about, but we're just getting started. Next on our list is farms dying, especially if a lot of them do it at once. I don't know if it's the annoying sound or the fact that the villagers are idle. Maybe it's that I have to stop being an awesome general to go back and reseed my farms, but something about it just irks me. Number 18, getting housed. We've all done it, we all hate it. We've all made that signature, ugh, when it happens. You know what I'm talking about. Try building another house. Number 17 is when you send a villager out in Arabia to build a forward barracks, or go out and build a wall in Black Forest and they're killed by wolves. The wolves don't even eat them. Look at them, they're just standing there. Number 16, it's usually your own fault when it happens, but sometimes lag can do it too. It's when your villager luring a boar gets killed by the boar. Out of my way, pig! That's easier to swallow than the wolves, because at least the villager shot the boar first. Still makes you feel like a newbie. There's another alternate version of this as well, where the lure gets back to the town center safely, but the boar still kills one of the other villagers. I die for England. Number 50 on our list is forgetting to research murder holes. Because, you know, whoever's in there shooting arrows can't drop rocks or anything. Stone, please. Number 14 is trebuchets. And this goes for anything else that has a longer range than the castle. The French are attacking our Feels kinda cheap. Next, we're gonna look at the serious annoyances. Number 13 is bugged maps. Admittedly, this doesn't happen all that often, but when it does, it can be pretty annoying. And it can be in the form of gold boxed in by trees, it can be boar or deer not spawning. There's lots of ways that this can happen, and every time it's annoying. The next on our list doesn't happen as often now in the Forgotten Empires expansion, but it used to happen sometimes, and that's losing to a wonder. wonder, the wonder this is especially going. annoying when you would have won had the game been set on Conquest. Next on our list at number 11 is losing for any other reason. Let's be honest, if you lose to a wonder, you can still tell yourself you're probably the better player. Not so easy when you see them running through your base. I die now. Moving into the top 10 now, let's take a look at some of the major frustrations. Remember that time you finally saved up enough for a castle and were just putting it down and your villagers got attacked and no matter what you did, you still couldn't finish the castle? Yeah, that's number 10. Cause you know, it's like in real life, where when you don't put that last stone in the castle, it's completely useless. To add insult to injury, deleting the castle basically gives you no stone back. Number 9 can either be done by you or your ally, and it's when suicide units open the gates. What is this? On the other hand, it might be kind of cool if there was like a bribery aspect to Age of Empires and if they worked that into the game. But anyway, as it is right now, it's just annoying. Now number 8, you can argue, is just part of being a good player, but I find it super annoying, and that's when your infantry gets killed by hit and run tactics. Coward. Now I'll admit, I'm a pretty chatty guy in Age of Empires, and if that's not your thing, okay. But sometimes, a little bit of basic communication is nice. It's nice to work together to come up with your strategies and stuff. And when somebody just doesn't answer you at all, or resigns without even asking for help, he leaves you in a bit of a tough spot. I do not like the looks of these. Number six feels like one of those cosmic paradoxes, where you don't have any gold, so you decide that you're gonna trade to get some gold, but you need gold to start that trade. Damn so you need God. gold to get gold. That's kind of annoying when you don't have any. Gold, please. Still, it's not quite rage quit worthy. And that's what we're going to talk about right now. The top five. Now, a lot of people might think that this should be number one. But really, I got some more good ones coming up. Number five is lag. People really need to stop trying to play Age of Empires on their TI-83. Sure, blame it on your ISP. At least with lag, if you can wait the other guys out, they'll probably resign and you'll win. Hence my 1660 ELO. It is good to be the king. 
Number four is fighting uphill. Charge! I know what you're thinking, that's part of the game, that's part of the strategy. No. No. When you have an equal size army and you get your ass handed to you, that sucks. Run away! Run away! I don't know why you can't just stab their ankles or something. Number three is when you're getting a little bit wild with your clicks and you accidentally delete your castle. Seriously, if you try to delete your castle, there should be a little window that comes up that says, are you sure you want to complete this action? Why would you ever want to destroy your castle? That should probably raise some red flags for the game. This is especially annoying if you could have used your castle five seconds later. That still doesn't compare to number two. If you've ever played as the Persians, you've definitely made war elephants before. They're like tanks with tusks. It's crazy. And if you did make them, you probably rage quit when the other guy converted them all. You convert an elephant's religion and it switches sides? That doesn't make any sense. And now, not only do you not have your elephants, he's got them. Quit touching me. And you'll be seeing him again real soon. And finally, we've come to the number one thing that we all hate most in AoE 2. You all know what it is, you don't have to wait for me to say it, but I will. It's a hole in the wall. Dad, go. Booming is a lot of fun. You build up your walls, you create a ton of villagers, and you just gather ridiculous amounts of resources. You feel like a champ. It's a huge investment, but it totally pays off because you don't even need a military. And then what's this? You've left a hole in the wall. Nice town. And they're all coming in, I'll and that it. whole thing was for nothing. Awesome. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope this didn't bring up too many painful memories for you. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. Let me know if I missed something. Share your horror stories. It's all welcome here. Until next time.